It was, many thought, the end of a glittering career. After once being touted as one of the best strikers in the world, Radamel Falcao returned from the English Premier League to Monaco last summer, a shadow of his former self. But El Tigre was far from done. This season, the Colombian has surprised many by roaring back to his goal-scoring best. After enduring two seasons of heavy criticism, Falcao says he's put it behind him. You learn from every experience, both good and bad. My time in England gave me experiences which I've learned from and have made me better. I'm still the same player. Now I enjoy more the fact that I'm able to train and play and be important every weekend. And life in Monaco seems to suit him, even though these days he's playing to a crowd a quarter of the size of Manchester United's Old Trafford Stadium. Yes, the atmosphere is different. We are aware of the fact that this city is a bit unique and that you can't demand something different because the population is a lot smaller compared to other cities. In any case, the fans try to accompany us at every game, be it League, Cup or Champions League. And we are very happy with that. I understand it was the Prince of Monaco himself who asked you to come to the club. What did he say to you when you met him that convinced you to come here? It was a very unique meeting. I still hadn't signed for Monaco and it was also an important reason for why I signed for the club. He told me how they wanted to be a very competitive club. They gave me the confidence that I would be an important piece here. And well, to see that backing not only from the people that manage the club, but also the city, made the balance tilt towards me signing for Monaco. Tell me about your family. I know you have two young girls. How much is it enjoyable to have them with you here in Monaco? Well, my family, my wife and two daughters, are very important to me. From the moment where I decided to get married, that was very good for me. It gave me a lot more balance and it helped me to focus even more on every aspect in my life, the football and my family. Falcao's desire to prove himself once more in Europe led him to turn down an offer from the Chinese Super League earlier this season, said to have been in the region of $70 million. Would you ever consider going to China as part of your career in the future? Yeah, maybe. You can never say never. I think they're making some really big signings with the objective of growing their league by taking a lot of the best players from Europe. They will probably have a really strong league in the future that will be very attractive due to the class of players they have. Me personally, I've had some offers that I've turned down because I think that I have some goals in Europe that I like to achieve. But not just in Europe. After missing the 2014 Brazil World Cup through injury, his recent recall to the Colombian national team has given him new hope of a long-cherished goal. We all dream as kids of being able to one day put on the shirt for your country, to represent it, to hear the anthem. It's such a large number of emotions and feelings that I've had the opportunity to enjoy over many years in my career, and I'd like to keep doing so, above all in the World Cup in Russia. As for now, Falcao is focused on finishing the season strong with Monaco. There are still three titles at stake for the club, and after four years with no silverware, El Tigre is hungry to add another title to his tally.